that too dramatic or not? Dude, it's slow mo. You're not supposed to go slow. Yeah, y'all should have did it like that. <laughs> Your face. That actually came out pretty good. Yeah, pretty Boom. <laughs> Not just good, your Puerto Rican dad. You got it? Well, we're gonna get our first win. Our first Puerto Rican win. Welcome back to this video, guys. Today we're out here at Gatorback MX. Uh, going out second day out here. Uh, yesterday was practice and a little bit of racing. Today's all the main event. So I can't wait to see how we do and uh, hopefully we can bring home all the wins. Hey, nice of you to show up, dude. I know. We don't miss her. <laughs> yeah, I think Dax is either going to go here or over there, but probably here. I think these, these three are the, the sweet spot for this side. <laughs> get him on, yeah, boy. You better get him again. Oh. You ready, bro? Meanwhile, just rolling in, meeting with Nautique here. They got a little setup here. It's the headquarters here, correct, Craft? Hit HQ. Gary, all cut out of CNC. Carbon fiber boats. We're gonna lay, we'll lay this stuff in. Where are you getting all your carbon fiber? A little tour here at Nautique Boats. This place is pretty sick. Cool to see they build all the boats here in America. So that's, I mean, everything done in here at this shop, done in America, down in Florida. So, be sick. Boom. Well, that was a cool trip there to Ski Nautique, Crick Craft. <laughs> They've been around for almost 100 years. Got all the boats out here. Back to the track. I don't want to miss Hayden's race. Already took about two hours longer than expected, but they had a cool story, so. All right, we gotta get out of here. Hayden's probably gonna race his main event here in a little bit. I don't wanna miss it. We're gonna get some ice cream. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. How's your game? It's the one right next to Dax. Uh, I remember running hard in there in the turn one. Yep. Yep. All right, I gotta go. All right, love you. Bye. Bye. Goodbye.
was it for second main event. Ended up pulling the win again. Uh, Amp got the whole, uh, almost got the whole shot. That outside, we're gonna keep doing that because that definitely worked. But uh, sweet, so. Oh, party foul. This guy. Hey, someone get this guy off the podium. That was good. You, you came out good, you, but you bounced. I was, I was behind all of them. They were all in there, and I just slid. I, my foot was dragging and sliding so early. 35 was out there, too. He tried to pinch you down. But I came off. Yeah, you held it. And then you made a good move going. And then you got to go past the 44 quick, which is smart because he's a blocker. And now the days of boy, you take that. You got your dad. All right, the 85, 913 champ, you're going to get the gold medal. Congratulations out there. Tell us about your race. Um, yeah, I got off to a good start. Uh, this time, like, we're not going to start a uh, guy at the bottom all the time because I usually don't get a good start. I get stuck with him. And so I started on the outside. Didn't get a good start, but uh, pulled it around the outside of all the guys and uh, came out second and uh, passed in full speed quick. And then blew my race from there. Tried to as soon as I can get other bowls and uh, had a good time. Tell us about some merchandise that you got. I heard you got some merchandise that you two fans want to plug up here. Oh uh, yeah, make sure you guys all go to shopdegan38.com. That's what you can. And uh, Degan38 YouTube channel. Make sure you guys uh, go subscribe to that as well. How many followers you got on this YouTube channel? Dude? I think like 250,000. Holy cow, boy. You're getting there. What do you want to say? Uh, I'd like to thank Team Shit once again, SMM, Team Bowler, Bell Saber, Alright, well, Alex, come on here from the AMA. I got that number one plate you've been waiting on. It's the danger zone. AMB is taking another championship here. Hold my five. California out there with Pete Cole Plata. The 525 out of Fruity, Colorado is another cruise spot. Well, there you go. Two motos, two main events down. I missed the first one. I was stuck in Orlando. Just showed up and Hayden laid it down again. Good start. Was able to get another uh, number one plate. So, and that was like the nine to 13 class. So impressive. So we're here, Gator back, the 65 class. This is actually Hayden could still be riding this class. <laughs> but we, we left it at home because he didn't want to ride it. So he stepped up and went out and won the 85, 9 to 11, 85, 9 to 13. And he has one more 85 class tomorrow. So I guess he was right. I guess he pretty much made, uh, pretty much made it happen. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool to see like when you give a challenge and they rise to the occasion and bring the whole level up, right? And it's super cross, so the kids are getting aggressive now, like the fast kids, the super cross racing, it's gnarly, like you, kids are going for it, they're block passing, you gotta see like, you watch super cross, you know, during super cross season every weekend, and uh, you just watch certain riders, like Jason Anderson, um, there's dudes that just straight every pass they make, you know, Stewart, every pass they make is a block pass, a, a, you know, a aggressive move in Supercross, and that's what works. That's what you kind of have to get used to doing. And yeah, it's a little gnarly in amateur racing with kids, for sure. I'm, not, I'm against dirty, dirty, dirty moves, but block passing, eventually you got to learn to do it. And that if you want to do this for a living and want to be a pro and, and win, kind of what you got to learn, right? So, but overall, Hayden did good today and battled and had a good run. So, I think he's glad he didn't raise the 60s. It's over, the 60s done. So that is it for today's video out here at Free Zone. It was sweet. Uh, had a good time. Won both motos. Uh, took away two titles. So that's pretty sweet. But obviously, make sure you subscribe and uh, comment below with you next. And uh, see you guys uh, tomorrow.